Previously on Big Brother. The house was divided. But when everyone realized that Ronnie was playing both sides, the house united against him. You are the rat, and we figured it out, and you got caught. You can hustle for 16 days. And they vowed to take him down. I will sit in my living room and watch these people run you out of this house. Hey. Ronnie, I'm sorry, you're going home next week. You've been lying to everyone in this house. I have not lied to Jesse. When Jesse won head of household. Congratulations, Jesse. For the second time this season, you are the new head of household. Casey hoped the plan to take down Ronnie was in effect. I'm assuming Jesse sticks to the plan. Jesse has been one of the people that Ronnie had influence with. And Ronnie's proved himself to be a manipulator. We'll see if Jesse does the right thing. But when he voiced his concern to Natalie. I know Jesse sees himself as a target. You know, he was here before. He's obviously in great physical condition. I don't think he would add another reason. He made himself a target. When Jesse found himself in the middle of a love triangle. I'm not Let gonna me. talk to Lydia. She better not talk to me then. Natalie, please. Tell her not to talk to me. If I wanna talk to you. I will talk to you, not with her. Jealousy threatened to tear allies apart. Okay, fine, Natalie, I'll just stay up all night, okay? How was it my fault, Lydia? No. I've never gotten the bed to myself. Well, why do I have to give up my bed? Whatever. At the nomination ceremony, Jesse put up two pawns. I nominated you, Jordan, and you, Michelle, for eviction. And he warned of a bigger plan. Hopefully I could win the POV. Then, fingers crossed, I can backdoor somebody that I really want out of this house. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to save either Jordan or Michelle from eviction? Find out tonight on Big Brother. Thank you, America! Ronnie, you are safe. Thanks, Jesse. I nominated you, Jordan, and you, Michelle, for eviction this week. That's it. Jordan and I are on the block this week. We're supposed to be pawns as part of this big plan to backdoor Ronnie. It's a horrible position being a nominee because sometimes pawns go home. Me and Michelle are supposed to be pawns. Um, I don't really trust Jesse fully. Um, I think he would definitely backstab me. I didn't put up Ronnie due to the fact that he really hasn't hosed me yet. I see him as an asset inside the house, whether it be for a target inside the house or somebody that's going to help me on later down the road. I had no intentions of putting him up. It sucks that you got to go back up. Well, Natalie was pretty much usually like, you're OK. Yeah, you're fine. OK, what's going to happen is somebody's going to win the POV right, and, and use Ryan's it. Gone. Okay. You know what I mean? If it slips that Ronnie wins a POV, Michelle's gone. So you're not going home no matter what. You don't know that. Come on, Jordan. You're going to go home with Michelle. No way. <laughs> you have two chances. You're not going. You know what I mean? You're number one is the <sighs> I'm telling you seriously. I'm telling you what I think. And so far, it's going according to plan. I know. Oh, what if it's me, Michelle, and Ronnie playing in the POV? What? Don't have a pity party for yourself just yet, you know what I mean? What if I go home? You're not going home. I'm the third person. You'll be fine. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> but I was just telling Jordan the same thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ultimately, we're sticking to the plan and it sucks. It's you guys. Yeah, no, I know. It had to be someone, so. Let's just hope, you know. <laughs> 
it's always best to not be on the block whatsoever. Right. Yeah. 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 You know? Okay. Well, just then. Gotta think of it that way. You know? Right. But the ultimate thing is Ronnie's going home. You know? Yeah. So yeah. Well, then pick it. I didn't even hey, look at it like that. I was just. Plan is going. Yeah. Thanks, Chef. All right. I'm having really complex trust issues. People in the house have said that they have my back, but when it comes down to actions, I don't feel like anyone will really stick their neck out for me. Sorry, I didn't realize you were asking. I'm really sorry, it probably should be me up there. Yeah, no, it's- I was convinced it's... I was going out that it was an emotional drain and I'm like tired, I can nap for days, I feel like. Yeah, no, it's, it's hard because people are like, oh, don't be sad and stuff. I'm like, dude, I want to go in the bathroom ball. I'm like, this is not safe because, you know, I'm on the block, I can go home. It's, yeah. <laughs> there's no guarantees of anything. Just no matter what, just... make sure if you win the veto, you use it on yourself. Oh, I'm saving myself. Yeah, I just, uh, if I have a choice over who plays, I have to be careful. Make sure you pick someone that if they want, they'd use it on you. Mm -hmm. That's my advice. Take it or leave it. I, mean, oh. I don't know if you want to or not, but if you do get them and you want to pick me, I would use it. <laughs> I would. No, you want to use it so you can't get put up, dude. I'm not an idiot. No, no, I'm, that's no, part of it. I'm not no, about that. really. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Right? No, thank you, Ronnie. There is no way in hell I'm going to choose you. The plan is to backdoor you, you idiot. But sorry, but I'm not gonna pick you. <laughs> no offense. No, no, I understand. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? Ronnie just asked me to pick him for POV. For what? <laughs> for POV. Sorry. <laughs> that was funny. Guess what? I'm getting POV. If you get a house kiss choice. <laughs> I still say. Sit down, Ronnie. <laughs> Everyone still wants me out witch hunt. Yeah. yeah. So where do your loyalties lie? Okay. Ronnie inside this house is like a convicted felon, but I hope he still has my best interests in mind. We'll see how it goes. I tell you what, the people that are very adamant about getting you out is Casey, Jordan, Jeff. Casey's at the tip of the arrow. I'm definitely sticking my neck out for you because I everybody's know. still like hesitant of like, oh, well, maybe we should still get Ronnie out. And I'm just like. You never directly screwed us. I do believe Jesse. I would be heartbroken and hurt if he did backstab me. So I'm not going up as a Or no, at all. No. Um, I'm going to keep acting down like I've been doing. And I'm just going to keep going. And you know what, dude? I'm serious. You are my brother from another mother <laughs> and you are my sister from another mister. Why do you want Ronnie out, and how does it benefit you? The people that are still mad at Ronnie are still mad at Ronnie, but whatever. I want to try getting them on the Team Jesse bandwagon. The lines have been drawn. We've made, we've bonded with the people on our side, and. I'm not gonna just make an alliance convenient for that week. Mm -hmm. Ronnie would not put me up because we're saving us. Like this is it. He's mm -hmm. not gonna screw us. And he saved me. Yeah. And he's on your team, so. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying, like, I want you back to where Casey, I want Casey out. Like, it's, that's... it's much better for me for Casey to leave than okay. Ronnie. And if for some ungodly reason Casey wins the POV, worst case scenario, Michelle goes home. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind that either. Okay. Hopefully it'll all work out though, Yeah, uh, uh, that would be ideal. You get some nerve. And you're, every, does that sound like a good plan? Yes. Okay. I want, have your best interests in mind. Mm -hmm. Ronnie didn't burn us with actions. Yeah. But by Ronnie staying in, do you really think he's coming after you? No. Exactly. Who do you think he's going to go after? As long as it's not me. And yeah. you know it's not you. Mm -hmm. So why would you want to use this week on somebody that's not coming after you as opposed to somebody else? For me, Ronnie being here is minor. Mm -hmm. Why do you want Ronnie gone, and how is it going to benefit you? Like, I'm not gunning for him to go. It's just if well, I don't want to be... Do you think he's coming after you if he stays in the house? No, I don't. OK. Yeah. Keep Ronnie here and let them think that you're going to backdoor his ass, but don't. 
Brayden went home because of me. Laura went home because of me. Casey's gonna go home because of me. I'm picking people off left and right up in this place. <laughs> Let's play truth or dare. All right, I got one. Kevin, truth or dare? Dare. 10 second cuddle with Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going to come watch? <laughs> Ronnie's playing too. Don't isolate the poor guy. What does he want me to do? I can dare you to high five Casey. No, I was something with Casey. <laughs> 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 20 second hug with Casey. Yeah. 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 We dared Ronnie to give Casey a hug. That was definitely the one person Casey does not want a hug from. Um, he doesn't want to be in the same zip code as that kid. Hey, Casey. I'm really sorry. I'm All really, right, really am, okay? All right, brother. And I'm really, really sorry. I didn't mean it. There. <laughs> Two days ago, Russell is chasing Ronnie around the house, uh, bad mouthing him, telling him he smells like a rat. And then tonight, they think it's funny to have Ronnie come give me a hug. I didn't think it was funny. That was great. I had thought that uh, Ronnie had left a bitter taste in people's mouth, and it appears that uh, maybe he's making his way back into people's hearts. You look sour. Are you upset? I mean, I didn't know I was gonna be the butt of the joke. The, the truth to dare, gang. You were the butt, everyone was the butt. Everybody everyone, had. everyone had their equal butt time. <laughs> I'll be all right. We went crazy. Okay. But, well, I mean, let's say it's Dude, really Jesse, nice. I think I had it the worst though, because <laughs> he's sitting up his HOH bed just sleeping, and Kevin's like on him. Don't ever send no rat to hug me again, man. Please. And I'll be okay, man. It's not any big deal. I'm a, I'll survive. Wasn't my idea. I didn't say it was. I'm just in the future if, if that comes up. Have the rat hug somebody else. Wasn't my idea, but fair enough. I think we could thank uh who was the creator of that one? Was it me? I, I wouldn't have had Jeff hug you the day, the day after you guys got into it. I told you I didn't do it. I'm oh, saying I'm just saying that's it, kind of the that's the analogy I would the comparison I would make. And I'm not blaming you for it happening, Russ. I'm a man that loves jokes. Hey, everyone, it's time to pick players for the veto competition. Uh Only six people will participate in the veto competition. The head of household, the two nominees, and three other players selected by random draw. Will the nominees please join me up here? I always think worst case scenario. Worst case scenario in the POV, Casey wins. That's worst case scenario, because that puts me in kind of a pickle. Best case scenario, he doesn't even get picked to play the POV. We'll see how it goes. So the object is to get rid of Ronnie. We're hoping his name doesn't come out, because if it does, he has a chance to play to save his behind. As HOH, I'll pick first.
Jeff. Heavy. Ooh. <laughs> Casey. Somehow, a one in 10 chance, and Michelle picks Casey. Great. Worst case scenario. Shima. I also have to choose a host for the veto competition, and I choose Natalie. <laughs> Uh, good luck. All the names are drawn and Ronnie's name is thankfully not pulled. The plan is in motion. Him not playing is a terrific thing. <sighs> I can't see how it will go wrong now. That worked out perfect. Well, it doesn't matter who wins now. I don't care. You can have it. God, why did his thing have to be chosen? Seriously. I have to make things interesting. If he wins, we'll have to reassess, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. He's got a one in six chance. He's good at competitions, too, you know? You've been Jeff, let Jeff win it. No, I know, for sure. Anybody, anybody but Casey, it wouldn't matter. Best case scenario, though, would be you. Yeah, then his fate would be sealed. Once you find a truffle, bring it back to your platform to reveal its value. If you think its value is high enough, you can lock it in. If you think its value is too low, then discard it, because you can only keep four truffles. At the end of five minutes, the house guests whose truffles add up to the highest total points win the power of veto. But beware. You will also face a few temptations along the way. A temptation is a truffle containing a prize, but if you decide to keep it, you will have one less space to acquire points. So make your choices wisely. Even though I know the plan is to backdoor Ronnie, really the only way I know for sure that I'm going to be safe this week is if I win the power of veto and save myself. I'm on the block, not exciting. I want somebody else to see what it feels like, not me. So I really want to win this veto really, really bad. Whoever wins, somebody comes off. Ronnie is a replacement nominee. 
My plan doesn't exactly coincide with the same plan that Jordan, Jeff, and Casey have for Ronnie. Mine consists of Casey going home. Go! The mud was so nasty. You know, I thought it was manure for sure. It was gross, but this veto competition is really a do or die situation and I'm willing to do anything I need to do, uh, even if I have to go head first into a pile of manure. <laughs> it might've been poop. I'd be okay if it was poop. It did stink. <laughs> I think I lost the contact. You know, I'm here to help Jordan. I want to win the veto for her and take her off the block. I don't get dirty. I didn't play in the dirt when I was two. This is not fun for me to stay clean. That was my strategy. <laughs> I could have locked in other points, but I decided to lock in the margarita party because I thought I like throwing parties and uh, making the other house guests feel good around me can do nothing but bring positive vibes my way. You're basically like gambling. I mean, you either keep the number or you don't, but I was scared that I would throw away a six and then go back and then let's say I grab a two or three and it not get any better. That makes sense. I'm done. Taking pig flying to new heights. I hope you're all happy with your scores. But if you're not, Big Brother has a temptation for you. I am holding six envelopes. Choosing an envelope could add points to your score, deduct points from your score, or surprise you with its contents. Once everyone has made their decisions, we will reveal the contents of the envelopes and adjust your scores accordingly. The player with the highest score will win the power of veto. Michelle, would you like to take a gamble and choose an envelope? I will. Ooh. I was a little worried. I really thought that I had probably the worst numbers, so I had to gamble. Which envelope would you like? I'm gonna go with five. Number five. Casey, would you like to choose an envelope? Sure. I'm feeling pretty safe, so I'm looking for some stuff. What envelope would you like? Six. Shima, would you like to choose an envelope? No. Jeff, would you like to take a gamble? I would love to gamble. Which envelope would you like? Two. Jordan. No. All right. I figured if I pulled an envelope, it might be bad luck. So I decided not to. And Jesse. Yes, I would like envelope number one. It's the same one I would have chose, Jesse. Number one is yours. <laughs> Jesse, let's see what your total point value is. $2,500. Jesse, instead of choosing a number, you decided to take $2,500 in cash money. So I took it, you know, shoot, you know. Your total point value is 26 points with an envelope remaining. Congratulations, Jesse. You just added five points to your score, giving you a total score of 31 points. Jordan, let's see what your total point value is. That gives you a total point value of 24 points, and you did not choose an envelope, so your final score will be 24. 
Unfortunately, that is not enough to win the veto. Jeff, let's see what your total points value is. That gives you a total point value of 27 points. However, you did choose envelope number two. Jeff, envelope number two contains negative five points. That means your total point value is 22 points. That is not enough to win the veto. And Jesse, you are still in first place. Shima. Your total value is 25 points. Unfortunately, that is not enough to win the veto. And Jesse, you are still in first place. Casey. Third one had to shut it down for my fellow house guests. Hook y'all up with a margarita party. Yeah. It's a strategy of mine to give back to the house so that they remember who brought them the margaritas. That was Casey. Oh, man, you don't know what you just did, dude. Game over! Let's move on to the fourth and final truffle. Six. That gives you a total point value of 22 points. However, you also chose an envelope. You chose envelope number six. Hopefully it's not a minus a margarita party. Congratulations, Casey. Natalie opened my envelope, and I see across the top of it, I can see a B, an A, and I'm thinking it's an H. What, what is, what is B-A-H? Bahamas. Oh, man, I'm happy. The envelope contains a banana soup <laughs> for one week. <laughs> I get to wear a banana suit for a week. You are still in the lead with 31 points. And with one player remaining, Michelle, please reveal what your total point value is. As of right now, you have 20 points. For my fourth truffle, I have an eight giving you a total point value of 28 points. However, Michelle, you did choose an envelope. You need four points to win the power of veto. Let's see if the gamble you took was worth the risk. Wow, congratulations, Michelle. Ah! Yes! Seven points! Yes! Yes! You Woo! Not only am I off the block, but I show everyone, yeah, I can win a competition. It was my time in the spotlight, and I was loving it. Michelle, <laughs> congratulations. Please swing on over and collect your veto. <laughs> yeah! How about doing one now? Woo! <laughs> See, please go to the diary room. The veto competition was not something I necessarily needed to win. Um, I was hoping to uh, get some kind of luxury item. Come to find out, I get to wear a banana suit for a week. Hooray. <laughs> I can't wait to that side just smoking and he's like he's pissed off with his coffee. <laughs> Let me make the banana rounds. 
how you got your arms and your legs free. It's not going to be sweaty. I think my head may get hot. <laughs> oh, my God. What is my mother going to say? I'm sorry, Mom. Sons, I'm sorry. Looks like a big pencil. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It could have been worse. I could also not be in a banana suit. Like, seriously, good job. Yeah, I like, want to show my no. worth to, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to you. Since you won, who would you want to see go up? All right, um, I I'm not, like, yeah, you, no. it'll be my decision. Mm -hmm. I won't even say it came from you. Like, don't think that I'm going to throw you under the bus. It's just the mob mentality inside here is wants Ronnie to go up. And I'm telling you right now, there's only a select few of people that want. I actually want him gone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, OK. When I talked with Jesse, he suggested that the house as a whole didn't want Ronnie to go. In my mind, it made me think, OK, Ronnie and Jesse are working together. This mm -hmm. is the first time we've actually had an opportunity to talk, and it's the best opportunity to do so anyways. Because nobody's going to expect that we're still friends after this, you know what I mean? No. You can still go throughout the house, mm -hmm. being like, you know, he still put me up, he still put me oh, up. And yeah. it might be true, but you two initially weren't the target to begin with. Anybody else that would have won, except for the one person I have in my head. When Jesse mentioned that he didn't want someone to win the power of veto competition, it put a lot of suspicion in my head. He wasn't gonna put up Shima, he couldn't put up Jeff, Jordan was already on the block, I was already on the block, so clearly he wanted to put up Casey as a replacement nominee. Just take your time. Yeah, I know cool. you, we can go all together, don't worry. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Jesse's looking out for number one, so I'll be cordial, I'll be nice to him, but when the time is right and the votes are on my side, I will definitely be trying to get Jesse out of the house. What's weird is Jesse wins at HOH, and he's more in Natalie's bed than it appear. They were sleeping both on the twin. They were. It doesn't make sense. I don't like the whole, the whole thing that Jesse does about you got to come up here to me. And I told him, I'm like, you're not very inviting, and you don't seem like you're interested or care sometimes to talk to people or get to know other people, other than Natalie. I mean, if you if you really have his interest best in, in mind, you would tell him he really needs to cut ties with Natalie. I just I just don't like how the athletes are not only winning everything, but they're not doing a lot of dirty work and they're asking the rest of us to do dirty work for them. So like, why don't we keep Casey? If he stays, he's gonna gun after the athletes and he increases our odds of having HOH. And we can have the excuse of he's on our click. We wanna win HOH. We can't vote against him. I like that. Who do you think is actually put up as a replacement nominee? Um, I think he's gonna put up Casey. I just have this like bad feeling that Ronnie's probably gotten to her. You know this is a numbers game right now. Yeah. And I don't want them to slowly start picking each one of us off. Because see, if he keeps Ronnie and Michelle, he has five guaranteed people to keep him safe. That's not I'm not cool with that. Don't I just don't dig that some people in this house, like, constantly have the feeling of being safe. Brayton, then Laura, now Casey. I 
thought the plan was to backdoor Ronnie. I was on board. I thought the whole house was on board. Things are getting ridiculous in here. If you can keep Ronnie, dude. Idiot. Dude, if he does that, man, that'd be a shocker. What's going on around here, man? Dude, there's talk. I want to tell you, there's talk about you going up. What did I do? Dude, don't ask me, man. I don't know. I just found out myself. I'm just telling you, bro, because you're right. right, right. But if there was more to tell you, I would. Who told you that? That's what Lydia told Jordan. I don't understand what I've done. Chessie thinks he could get further with Ronnie. But something's not right, you know what I mean? Can't you just sense it? Yeah. Nothing until it happens, you know? She's well, like, yeah, I mean, right. I can't afford to wait till I'm on the block. Where are you going? I'll go talk to Jesse. The right guy's gonna go out the door. Okay. And who is that? Is that me or is that Ronnie? The right guy. But I haven't said I'm coming after you one time to nobody. There's 10 people in this house. You're number 10 on who I would evict. Mm -hmm. I would evict Ronnie, Jesse, because he's a rat. And he's a liar. And he, no, no, and he lied. He to lied to everybody. Everybody. And will again. Right. And will again. If you think he's turned over a new leaf, I think you're smarter than that. I'm not coming after you, man. That's all I can say. So if, if that's not enough, then I guess that's not enough. Right. Casey definitely gave me some food for thought. If I don't make the right moves at the right time when need be, I'll be out the door very shortly. power veto ceremony day and I won the power veto so I don't have to squirm in that green seat wondering if someone will save me I saved myself so it's gonna be a good day today Ronnie should be the one out I hope Casey doesn't go up against me on the block because he's my friend and I would hate to see him leave the upcoming veto meeting uh, I don't feel so good about I think it's a good idea to put Ronnie up on the block just because of everything that happened, you know? But if Casey's going up, I'm losing someone close to me in this house either way. Jesse should get rid of Ronnie because he's a liar. And eventually, he will lie and turn on Jesse. He should keep me off the block because I can be an asset to him. Hey guys, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Jordan and I have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. Well, I've enjoyed my time in the house so far with all of you. It's been a blast, and hopefully my actions this week have shown that I'm willing to fight hard to stay in this house, and I'm not going to give up a minute here. So with that being said, I choose to use the power of veto on myself. Jesse, you will now need to choose a replacement nominee. I won the power of HOH, and I should be able to live the lavish life for a week and enjoy the fruits of my labor. So move your feet, you got a new seat. 
Casey. Hop in there, buddy. There's nut house around here, man. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at you. This veto meeting is now adjourned. Casey, I'm sorry, man. I won. You didn't. There's winners, and then there's people that hate the people that are on top. And that's where you come in, Casey. Just one week ago, Russell berated me, uh, told me I was gonna be the next one evicted. Casey tried to get the house completely against me. Well, guess what? The force must have been with me because I'm still standing, baby. This is my house and I'm not going anywhere. It sucks every week being on the bottom, but I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna win the next HOH. I might not be the smartest crayon in the box, but I'm not that dumb. Looks like Ronnie the Rat has gotten to Jesse, played him like in one of his little video games, in the meantime got me on the block. I didn't think Jesse was that dumb. Apparently he is. That being said, we may see an angry fighting banana this week. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Casey or Jordan? Who will become the new head of household? And a huge announcement will turn the game upside down. It all happens live Thursday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother.